The Airbus A380, an engineering marvel, is being laid to rest in a cemetery. As you can see in the pictures, a Singapore Airlines A380 was just scrapped at Changi Airport. The first A380 made its first flight on April 27, 2005, after being unveiled in Toulouse in 2005. The Trent 900 engine was installed in the aircraft. The A380's first customer was Singapore Airlines, which began flying planes in 2007. This airplane is the direct rival to the Boeing 747, which is no longer in production. However, the A380 was also discontinued due to a decline in market demand. We will go through a few of the five reasons why the A380 was retired so soon and sent to the scrap yard in this video. Number 1. Lower seat availability. The decreased passenger occupancy rate in the aircraft is likely to have an impact. Obviously, airlines must engage in extensive marketing to attract high-end travelers and due to A380 size, must operate out of larger airports like London Heathrow, Dubai, and Singapore Changi, which has a direct impact on the cost of passengers' tickets. Number 2. The cost of airplane maintenance is high. Airworthiness Authority regulations mandate certain regular checks from authorized aircraft tool shops as the A380 fleet ages. As a result of the larger size and greater number of parts on an aircraft, maintaining it takes more time, which has an adverse effect on the operations of airlines. In 2014, the Emirates conducted its first 3C check in 55 days. Some airlines will take advantage of extended shop stays to install new interiors. However, a small number of airlines must incur high maintenance costs and operate with interruptions due to extended hangar stays. Number 3. Shorter Life Cycle As aircraft age, most airlines retire them after 12 to 14 years of service. After that, they can find a second lease on life as freighter versions, which can operate for an additional 15 years. It will eventually be recycled. However, the scenario in the A380 was different. The only reason the Boeing 747 has survived longer is that its airframe can be used for both passenger and freighter versions of the aircraft, whereas Airbus has no plans for converting any of its aircraft into freighters. Number 4. COVID Issues The biggest impact on airlines is COVID. The majority of airlines ceased operations and grounded numerous aircraft, although doing so for the A380 would be more costly for more airlines as the aircraft's operating costs and age soared. Airlines business has increased over the past year for COVID purposes. Airlines struggle to run the A380, and the CEO of Qatar Airways stated that there are no plans to bring the A380 back. Many airlines have sent their planes to be stored in France and other locations that are only targeted at the lower end of the market. Number 6. No secondary market value. The airplane has no resale value. Numerous airlines attempted to sell it to other carriers, but were unsuccessful. Who has a big market share, but they did not want to operate it once again, just as Emirates did not want to purchase the second-hand aircraft. As Singapore Airlines discontinued operating these four A380 aircraft in 2017, the Dr. Peter Lease Company, who provided Singapore with those aircraft, found it difficult to find a new customer for their A380. When they were unable to locate an operator, they ultimately made the decision to sell each individual part to another airline operator for a price between $30 to $50 million. Thus in 2019, the airplane was disassembled. The explanation cited by Air France for grounding the A380 was that the cabin modifications would cost close to $45 million, Lufthansa would declare them unprofitable, and other airlines with less market share would only fill 30% of the available seats. Since Emirates owns half of the A380 aircraft built to date, it is one of the few airlines that still have the courage to fly. Due to its strong brand recognition, Emirates has high passenger utilization rates on its A380 aircraft. They regularly upgrade the interior and business and first-class seating, maintaining the passengers' sense of luxury and adding value to their status and reputation. 
it has been demonstrated that the aerospace industry understood that an aircraft with 400 passengers is the only size that can have strong market demand. Therefore, the majority of airlines stated that they were retiring their A380 aircraft so soon. Singapore is one among them as well. Airlines now place a greater emphasis on wide-body aircraft like the A350 and Boeing 777X. If you have any views or experiences to share regarding the Airbus A380, please do so in the comment areas below.